it is now that time for you to hear what flows through my mind, guided from above with messages of love. Ready to go? Welcome to Ruby's Mindful Tarot. Hello everybody, I hope you've had a lovely week so far. So, today's video is for Blue, Baby Blue Group. So before we begin, let's do some mindful breathing, particularly because this is a blue group, so that's the throat chakra. We're going to inhale by opening the mouth and then exhale through the mouth as well, just to give some extra energy to your throat. So, breathing in through the mouth and then exhaling through the mouth. Again. And again. And once more. And one more time. Lovely. So, I already shuffled these cards, so I shuffled them and these are the cards that have come out for this group. So your favourite colour might be blue, it, you might be drawn to blue, or I don't know, but this is for the blue group. So, if you found this video, then it is for you to hear. So we'll go through these cards and then we'll go from there. Okay. Straight away, I'm being drawn to the Neptune card that came out for you, Blue Group. I'll just show you. So the Neptune card is all about dreams, fantasies, imagination. It's very, uh, it's got Pisces energy. Some of you might be a Pisces, I'm hearing. So yeah, it's about your dreams. Dreaming, transcending, going between this world and the next. Very, um, I'm hearing fairy tale like, so very fairy tale and dreamy. That could be your type of personality. Under that was the imagination card, so that makes sense. And of course, it's blue. And I did shuffle all these cards, and most of them are blue, so that's that makes sense for your group. So, yes, imagination, water. Water, imagination, dreaming, that's what's coming out so far. And again, this one came out as well. That's the sea. So a lot of water energy here. And this one too, so this is uh, breathe. So breathing, the sea, maybe you need to meditate a bit more. Have you been meditating perhaps? Maybe in the bath, so meditating in the bath. Just breathing like we did a minute ago. Breathing, checking in with how your mind is. Maybe contemplating on your dreams. That's what I'm hearing for you. Maybe you need to contemplate on your dreams. Write them down. Feel how it feels. A lot of water here. Neptune. This card came out for you as well. It says breathe. So this is a very clear message so far for you. So breathe. We'll do that again. So inhaling in through the mouth if possible. And then exhaling through the mouth as well. So again. And one more time. Lovely. Okay, I'm being drawn to over here. So this is a turquoise crystal that I have, and of course it's blue, well blue and black. And the, the crystal came onto this card, which is the regeneration card. So yeah, I'll show you this crystal first. Turquoise, good for the throat chakra, I'm hearing. So if some of you have turquoise, it would be good for you to hold it, keep it around you. I know that there's a lot of jewellery with turquoise, um, so necklaces with turquoise in that. So that would be very good because it's close to your throat. So that's very healing for you. Back to this card, regeneration. Give me a moment while I channel the messages from it. I'll just show you first. 
So we've got some like fire and rock and then we've got a tree coming out filled with blue. Give me a moment. I'm hearing that it's time for you to come up. So however that, whatever that means for you, it's time for you to come up. So if you've gone through quite a rough time perhaps, or you've been working on something, it's, it's time to come up with that now. It's going to manifest, it's going to happen. Dreams, I'm hearing again for you. Dreams and imagination. So perhaps you, you've been dreaming of something to happen maybe, or you might have been working on yourself, your spirituality in some way. So maybe the meditation, you've been working on that. Continue with this if you have, and if not, perhaps look into this. So of course there's different types of meditation. I do think water is necessary for you. We do also have Aquarius here. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's an image of water flowing over mountains. So water is very powerful and strong for you. And of course, blue, water. So with your spirituality practices, definitely include water within that. So whether that's meditating in the bath, drinking pure and clean water, pouring the water over yourself or over crystals or however it is for you, definitely use water. But yeah, I feel you're growing spiritually. I feel that's what this card is meaning for you. You've gone through a lot of fire, fire moments, fire times. You've learnt lessons from that, whether you realise or not. And it's time for you to spring upwards. Spring up. Time to rise up. Rise up and bloom. That's what I'm hearing for you. Rise up and bloom like a flower. Yeah, this is an important card, so I'll come back to that one again. I'll leave it here. Okay, what else do we have? Breathe, Neptune, Aquarius. Aquarius is um, all about being original as well, having, again, imaginations. So this is very strong. Your spirituality, your creativity, your imagination, so your mind is very powerful. Um, yeah, it's very, very powerful and original. So if you've been working on something creative or you've been wondering whether you should or not, the answer is definitely yes. It's time for you to bring it out. Be original, be creative, show it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have I'm being drawn to this card now for you. So this was the mending card. Putting something in the works, I'm hearing. So as I mentioned, if you have been thinking to start something creative, definitely do that. Definitely start working on it, bringing it together. Conjunction, we have this card for you. So this is all about a union, merging together, something coming into alignment. I feel that's your spirituality. As I just did this, I, I looked down at that card and that's a similar posture. So her hands are in the prayer mode, the prayer um, position. So I feel it's your, it's you spiritually. You are coming into alignment and conjunction within yourself. Definitely. So this is a very spiritual reading. So this reading is in relation to your spirituality. Very lovely. We also had the Trine card. Trine card, this is about angelic support, harmony, perfect flow. So that's beautiful. That's confirmation that the universe, your angels, your angels, your angels, I'm hearing. Your angels are with you. They're helping you come into alignment within yourself so that you can grow and rise spiritually. And again, anything creative that you're working on, include water somehow in your own unique way because that will help with the manifestation of it, definitely. I feel drawn to show this to you again. And turquoise. 
This actually looks like um, this tree here because the tree is uh, blue and black. So that might be why I'm drawn to hold them together. So yeah, if any of you have turquoise, definitely hold it a bit more. And again, if you have it in jewelry, like a necklace, wear that as well. But it is your time to rise, to come up. So if you've been in the dark, if you've been in the heat, the fire, the dark for some time, mentally, I'm hearing it's time for you to, to rise. Things will become clearer. Things will, be, will become more harmonious for you. Harmonious. Yeah. I feel drawn to stay with this card a bit more. Yeah, things are coming. Brighter things are coming for you that will allow for you to rise higher. Listen to your angels. If you've been getting messages or dreams, which is very likely in this group, um, but yeah, any messages, dreams, spiritual messages in particular that you feel are for you to hear, they are for you to hear. Try not to hold yourself back, I'm hearing. Don't hold yourself back. Don't think that because you was in this, the fire or the heat or some trouble mentally, don't think that because you was in that, that you need to stay there. No. That was just for a moment, but it's your time now. You do deserve to, to experience this. Okay. Leading on to this card, which is perfect direction. And I did shuffle this randomly. Uh, milk and honey. So as I said, it's your time to rise and come up, to grow spiritually, to come into alignment with yourself and you will be feeling like this. You'll be feeling very sweet, very sure, very happy and glad. You will feel like this internally, that's what I'm hearing. So if you've been experiencing some chaos or, well yeah, some chaos within yourself, it will be coming to... Um, it will be peaceful soon, very soon. It will be peaceful for you. You will feel happy within yourself. You'll feel at home within yourself. And you, you will feel sweet. So as we said before, alignment, conjunction within yourself, that will feel very happy for you. Symbolized or shown by the rainbow here. Yeah, you'll be very happy and content. Happy and, happy and content within yourself. That's beautiful. I'll keep that there. Okay. We have two more cards here. We have round and round. I'm drawn to that one. 25, five, time to be alive. That's what I'm hearing. So time for you to rise rise 25 5 uh, the number 5 is all about change so that makes sense you're changing from that fire that, that kind of conflict to peace so that change is coming for you yeah round cycles It's not all the same. That's what I'm hearing. If that means anything for you, let me know in the comments below. But it's not the same. So you might have been thinking that this transformation that you're going through is similar to something, you, something you've been through before that maybe wasn't so harmonious. It's not the same as that. This is different. Hmm. I'm being drawn to uh, the third eye, so psychic abilities, which of course makes sense with this reading as well, with Neptune and Imagine and breathing and a lot of spiritual work here. Um, your your third eye, your yeah, your brow chakra or third eye chakra, but either way, your psychic abilities. So some of you, if not all of you, um, have a lot of 
psychic potential I'm hearing psychic potential so that could mean um, this could be a message for you to work on your psychic development work on your psychic development so that could be through doing um, tarot and oracle readings for yourself or friends it could be anything I feel it's very broad but either way definitely work on your psychic skills starting with yourself I'm hearing so that could mean channeling messages, spiritual messages from your angels for yourself. So if you're the type of person who always wants advice on what to do or the, ne the next steps to take and you often ask other people or you look outside for that external help, this message is for you to look inside, to look within yourself to contact your spirit guides and your angels definitely your angels yeah this is a sign for you to contact your angels when you are in need of advice and that will help to develop your um your psychic skills mm -hmm. and then the other card here was 34 a leg up yeah i feel that actually confirms what I just mentioned about um, going to your spirit guides or angels when you have help so if you see the image here I feel this baby polar bear is you and this um, adult polar bear is representing your um, your angels or spirit guides so they're giving you a leg up they're helping you or they're there to help you yeah and this is always with you as well so your angels are always with you giving you a leg up so help advice whenever you need it you just have to um, be aware that that help is there for you mm. i'm being drawn to the number three so if that means anything for you you might have three angels i'm hearing three angels in particular or three spirit guides um, three spirits, either way, positive, loving spirits that are around you often, helping you. Mm. Yeah. I'm hearing night time, if that means anything for you. Maybe a lot of you get messages at night time, which makes sense with the Neptune card, which is all about dreams, imagination. So maybe um, your dreams at night, that's maybe a way for your angels or spirit guides to help you or contact you they could be sending you signs in your dreams as well but they are there to help you so you are not alone okay let me give uh, a little bit of a summary and then i'll see if i feel drawn to do anything else <laughs> so this is for the blue group baby blue you are being called to breathe <laughs> to breathe calmly, to meditate more, to definitely incorporate water, clean, healthy water into your spiritual practices. You might have been through, or you might have yeah, recently been in a phase of darkness internally within yourself, not known to others, I'm hearing. So others might think you're fine, but inside you might not have been fine recently. Either way, there's a new chapter coming for you. It's your time to rise, to shine, to come up within yourself, spiritually speaking. But definitely breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe calmly. Maybe when you're in the bath, use that as a meditation. So breathe, let go of any worries or stress and just allow yourself to be calm and centered. Your imagination and creativity are very powerful. Whatever you have been thinking to create, definitely do that. Start putting work into that. Start mending it. Start making it happen. Some of you might be a Pisces or Aquarius, but definitely Pisces type of energy, which means that you are very dreamy. You fantasize a lot. You've got a lot of imagination. You are very spiritual definitely very very spiritual and you're being called to work on your spirituality particularly your psychic skills yeah so that's the neptune card you are coming into alignment within yourself 
alignment and conjunction within yourself. This will make you feel very happy and at peace within yourself as well. So again, no more kind of dark times, not to pretend that didn't happen, but just know that you're moving out of it. You're moving out of this phase into this phase. So from here to here, and that will make you feel very happy and glorious, I'm hearing, glorious. <laughs> Um, I'm hearing that for some of you, the word glorious, uh, you might say that a lot or you might be hearing that a lot in songs or people might be saying that as they walk past you. If so, that's a message from your angels that times will be glorious for you very soon, if not now. <laughs> uh, turquoise, start wearing that if you can, if possible, as a necklace so it's near your throat chakra. Or if not, you can just hold it or keep it around you, particularly um, where you create. So if you have a particular area of your home um, where you create or make things, keep this there, the turquoise. Yeah, but you are original. You have great ideas, fantastic ideas, lovely imagination. Use that, start working on it, breathe. The universe and your angels in particular, three, uh, three angels or three spirit guides are with you all the time, ready to help you when you need to. Advice and help is right there, it's right there I'm hearing, right behind you. Yeah, I'm hearing right behind you, so your angels have your back, they have your back, they want you to succeed, they want you to grow. Sometimes we have to go through um, uh, stages of difficulty internally or spirit, spiritual difficulty in order to grow further. hope that makes sense. I'll say that again. So sometimes we need to go through, you know, this fire stage internally. It's not a punishment. It's to allow for us to grow spiritually so that we know more, so that we can shine brighter Mm. And also because one, when we are in, um, when we do experience periods of darkness internally, that forces us gently, but oh well, yeah, it forces us to reconnect with our spirituality when we are in this phase. It forces us to connect with our spirituality, so it forces us to breathe, to be calm, to know that we have spiritual support from our angels and ancestors and in doing that it will then allow us to grow to rise to shine knowing that that spiritual support is always there when we need it okay let's breathe so again through the mouth if comfortable And again, a few more times. Keep going. So inhaling in through the mouth and exhaling through the mouth as well. A few more times. Continue. Don't stop. Continue. Continue. few more times, breathing calmly, knowing that you have angelic support around you, knowing that you're being called to create and to develop your spirituality, starting with your psychic, starting with your psychic skill, <laughs> starting with your psychic skills and with your breathing. Continue breathing, by the way. Pay attention to your dreams. Your angels are communicating with you through your dreams. 
you might be seeing the number three a lot. If, if so, that's also a sign from your angels or repetition. So if you see something three times or the number three, maybe three, three, three. Yeah, that's a sign from your angels. So when that happens, t take a moment to breathe. Try and talk to them in your mind or out loud if you can and just see what comes, see what ideas come, see what direction you feel drawn to. Yeah, so when you see the number three or a pattern of three, that's a reminder to just breathe and open your mind and your inner ear to listen for messages or to feel messages mm. or to see messages with your eye, psychic eye I'm hearing. Yeah, so when you see the number three, breathe and open yourself up to receive messages from your angels. Okay, I think that's everything for you, the blue group. Thank you for listening to me. I am tempted to do another summary. I think I will. <laughs> so, hello blue group. Your message for today, you are being called to breathe, to meditate, to incorporate water within your spiritual practices. You have a very, an, an amazing imagination, very unique. You're being called to create. So whatever ideas you're having to create, definitely do that. If you have turquoise, hold that or keep it in your space of creation. If you've been going through inner turmoil or inner chaos, know that that's coming to an end very soon because it's your time to rise now. It's your time to rise and come up. You have three angels I'm hearing or your angels are showing you the number three. If so, when you see that, breathe, open yourself up. So try to clear your mind from any worries and just be open to any messages that you receive or anything that you're then drawn to. But you will be feeling within alignment within yourself. Know that this will be positive. So this kind of in, inner spiritual transformation for you, it is positive. It will be successful. Um, and that is it. So... Thank you for listening to me speak. If you liked this reading, um, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe. Uh, but yes, overall, this is a beautiful message. You are growing spiritually. Incorporate water. Definitely create. And know that your angels are there to support you. They're right behind you. They're right there. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, some of you might even feel some tingles on your shoulders or your back sometimes. Nothing scary, but you just might get a bit of an itch or something. If so, know that that's your angels reminding you that they are right there. Protecting you, guiding you, they have your back. Okay, I feel drawn to show this before I go. This is a clear quartz crystal. It, some of you might have this. Uh, it can be in different forms, so it could be like a circle shape or uh, like this. This is another one. But yeah, clear quartz crystal. That can be quite useful in helping you connect with the divine as well. So yeah, clear quartz and turquoise. There's some crystals for you to look into. So again, <laughs> thank you for listening to me speak. I will be back next week with a different color group. Uh, so I'm doing a different colour each week. Last week was purple, this week is blue. We'll see what next week is at the time. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe and let me know if any of these messages made sense for you. Um, that's it. I feel called to say water again. So some of you might need to drink water after this or maybe have a bath. A nice relaxing bath. Um, but yeah, water, breathe, angelic support, create, meditate, regeneration, psychic growth, and the number three. Okay, 
Thank you. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.